Hello family and friends, this is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life and Other Disappointing Experiences with a really quick paper craft um, using wrapping paper, a composition notebook, some sequins, and just a little bit of folding. Thank you for viewing this and please stay with me. This project started out as uh, a simple little holiday um, project. I wanted to take uh, any kind of a book, so I picked up an ordinary composition book, and it's uh, going to be growing as the years go by. And um, I thought it would be fun to record things that happen during the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, um, and this whole month of uh, Advent and whatnot, and uh, just a plain book, but I, as a crafter, want to cover it so that it looks nicer, reminds me of the holiday. Um, so this is the blank slate that I started out with, and uh, let me show you how it develops. All I did here was take two pieces of rolled wrapping paper, holiday colors, um, and I just cut them out haphazardly. I'll square them up later, it'll just be easier. So what I'm going to do is glue these two together, um, use a little Mod Podge glue. I don't want the um, paper to ripple. I don't really have to go to the ends and this doesn't have to be perfect so long as the inside is stick all stuck together on both uh, both pieces. I'm not too worried about it. Just want to get rid of some of these lumps and bumps. A little bit more. I've been having um, fun with this. You'll see uh, at a later video I made a couple of them and uh, I think I'm going to put them in my repertoire of holiday decorations. They're, they're easy to make and uh, pretty and they're versatile. You can do a lot with them. They can be cover pages, they can be independent. Um, oh goodness gracious, look at that arm. <laughs> So anyway, um, uh, oop, I said I'm not going to say anyway. Here we go. Um, there's a lot of uses for them. So I'm just going to stick, as we say. Lizzie would appreciate that. Stick these together. Get rid of as many of the lumps as I can. This is a very forgiving project, but you can see there's very few lumps and bumps here. I'll let this dry. And then what I'm going to do is cut these into squares of different sizes. I think what I'll do is a four and a half, uh, a four, a three, and a, no, four and a half, four, three and a half, three. Those are the three, the four squares I'm going to make. I'm just debating even numbers are not as attractive as odd numbers. So, you know what? I'm going to make five just to have. And the last one will be uh, two and a half. So I will be back in a second after I cut these all up.
Well, now for the fun part. Here I have a lot of squares, um, large, small, medium, and uh, they're double-sided, which is important. And all we do is fold up the corners. And you can fold them up two ways, obviously. You can fold them up with um, the red side facing up on the fold or the green side. And then you just stack them. Now this, of course, doesn't... Well, although that's not terrible. Well, anyway, let me go about what I want to do here. So I'm going to make two kinds. I'm going to make actually more than two kinds, but uh, let's move along here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to fold these up and I'm using my eye. I mean, I'm not measuring. You can measure if you want, but uh, that's the same size. So you want them to gradually get larger. And here again, don't make the mistake I almost made. You put the complementary side up and basically we have a tree. <laughs> Doesn't look like a tree just yet but it will be. Now you can take uh, two or three approaches with this. We can take this tree, these pieces, and put them stacked like this. Oops, sorry. Now that's a pretty, that's pretty. All right, let me just zoom in a little bit here. Um, by the way, you'll notice I have a little piece of jewelry. Actually, it's wrong. Tomorrow I go in for my much advertised <laughs> and long awaited knee surgery. And, um, that uh, band here is supposed to help the nausea that um, you get after um, anesthesia. So uh, we'll see if this works. It has two, two functions. One, it um, emits a peppermint, I guess, spearmint, peppermint, um, Oh, fragrance and that's supposed to help and the second thing it's on a pressure point three fingers past the first crease in your wrist I have so many creases it was hard to determine so we'll see how that works so anyway we can go this way and I'm not gluing them down just yet because I want to show you. That's a pretty tree. We can take the same shapes and here we'll leave the red on the top and we'll fold up so the green is showing in the bottom part. I like this too. Okay. Hope you get the idea here. I don't want to beat a, what do they say, beat a dead horse or whatever. I don't know. So here we have two different ones and it can make a nice variety. See, I think it's so much fun. These are so easy. And these can be standalone too. They don't have to be um, flat. I don't, what do they look like on the other side? You have just the under color. You see? which in itself is nice, right? like this. Okay, now the other thing you can do, instead of stacking them this way, and this is what I'm gonna do because uh, I'm gonna have them stand alone, some of them. You overlap them much more and you get a really pretty design. So I'm going to take a glue gun. I'm going to use the glue gun only because I'm in a hurry and you saw the mess I made. <laughs> you saw, here's my glue gun uh, holder, by the way, an old pot. Yeah. 
Um, so if you hit banging and I'm not cooking, I'm going to glue down just the tip of uh, the, this triangle. See right there? Hatsi tatsi. So this part here is open. I'm going to glue this part down. It's easier to do it this way, I think. Little tiny dab of glue. There. Now it's, I think, getting easier to imagine. And a little tiny glue there. Let it dry a minute. Let it cool and dry. Okay. So again, we have the choice. We can do it this way. Or well, we can come down a little further and do it this way. Okay. Which is the way I'm going to do it. So, I'm going to take the glue gun, just put a little dab and overlap it. I'm trying to keep it lined up this way. I was going to put like a registration um, line down on this background, but I decided against it. So again, here. Yeah. So quick, so easy. See, they hold together pretty well. I don't have a piece of brown paper prepared just yet for the trunk. But you'll put a trunk here. Yeah, I'll take. I'll use this guy here. Oh, actually, I like that. Hmm. That may be the trunk. We'll see. And then the other one is the reverse colors. So I'm gluing the top down. glue a little dot here. And these are more like um, just embellishments on things, but you do you can hang them from from a tree, see? You could make them double sided, but it would take a little more accuracy. And uh, I'm a measure three times cut once person. So the measuring takes a long time for me. Ooh. Where did he go? Excuse me. String pulled him away. And there. Now, I can, you know what I'll do? I'll do this one. Actually, let me do this one the same way so you can see the comparison. These are just three. You can make them four. I think they look better when they're an odd number so I would do like five three or five and you can glue these more across here I don't think I need to because this is a uh, hot glue is very strong oops we're out of frame okay now here are the two different trees and <laughs> oh, I like this. I was going to put brown, but I actually like this uh, better. And your imagination can go wild as to um, embellishing. I'm going to make some fabric ones with you um, in a week, a couple of weeks. Well, whenever I feel up, I'm able to get back up to the craft room. And uh, put you can put buttons here. Let me get some buttons. I have um, just a few buttons, <laughs> like a gazillion of them. Um, I can't find the one box I'm looking for. Let me just get this big box. Excuse me. Sorry. Now this is this is one of five, six, seven 
button boxes I have. And these are not colorful, but they're decorative enough for this. So you would put a button here or a sequin there. Um, any way you want to decorate it. They look pretty here. And, you know, like anything, your imagination is um, the only thing that holds us back or propels us forward. You can decorate them like this, but I want to show you one, uh, one last thing. So I'm going to take just a quick, I have to go um, into the other room. There's something I need to get to show you. Um, is there a way to pause this? Well, let me just stop for a second and I will be Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, one of the fun things about these trees, how are they sticking together? See, they stick together really well. This is strong. And people put a punch in them and they hang them from the tree. Kids can make them. It's kind of fun. Oh, this is not a video directed at kids. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> so the crafty curmudgeon, John, has a, a uh, cutting machine and he made me some tags. And what I like about this is, oops, you can put the tags as decorations and messages in the tree. So I, I think again, your imagination is the only thing that will limit you as to what kind of messages. Now what I would do maybe is take some uh, kind of cording, some pretty cording, whatever. What do I have handy? I have this, it's too thick, but I'll just show you what I mean. Take some cording of any kind. Um, I would use floss because it's pretty. Um, and put it into the tag. I'm not, I'm not going to tie it because uh, I don't want to use this that way. But, and then you put the tag in and you have tinsel or pretty little decorative threads. <laughs> this, the hot glue. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, this is my little quick pre-surgery diversion. I like these tags, by the way. Um, and I hope you find this useful. Uh, sorry for the disorganized nature of this, but uh, I'm a little preoccupied, as they say. Um, so thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, probably two, hopefully when I can make it back upstairs to my uh, craft room. And uh, have a great, this is a pre-Thanksgiving video, so have a great Thanksgiving. And I will see you soon. Oh, that's pretty too. Let me try a white one. Very nice. So, um, as we say when we close our video, be well and bye for now.